Welcome to the VSO Gun Channel. It's the day you've all been waiting for. Another episode of How Powerful Is It? And today I'm pleased to bring you 44 Magnum out of a Desert Eagle. And today we're going to be shooting Hornady 44 Magnum 225 grain FTX loads. Uh, those are the ones with the flex tip in the end of them. If you guys are unfamiliar with the way How Powerful Is It? works, we're going to cook one round through the side of the vehicle here. It'll go through one target, probably, since it's 44 mag, into a, uh, through the other side and into the other target. That's shot one. We're gonna be taking a look at, and see what the uh, bullet does as it travels through those surfaces. Then we're gonna go around to the front of the vehicle and cook one off through the firewall, hopefully pushing one into the passenger compartment and maybe even beyond. So without further ado, we're gonna get to it. 44 mag. Uh, this is the Hornady load. And we've got 1370. 1370. First shot into the quarter panel. Pick a fresh spot. All right, so as we're seeing here, if we look, we've got some a fair amount of disturbance. Uh, actually, not as much disturbance on the paint as we saw on the 45 earlier, which is surprising. Uh, this stuff is really frozen though, so it's not really doing anything. We're gonna set the Desert Eagle down. And if we look inside here, there's a lot of fragmentation in there, which is kind of what we expected to see, to be honest. And I definitely see a hole in the back there, uh, which is, again, what we expected to see. But we do have a little bit of fragmentation uh, coming through. I'm not sure if that's all door or if um, that's all projectile pieces. Let's go around to the back side and see what we got going on. And unfortunately, it looks like we hit low. So uh, we may have to actually do a reshoot here uh, for this thing, but you can see that 44 came cooking through there. Right, and it looks like it was actually traveling kind of sideways to me, uh, which is unexpected. I did not expect that to happen. So we're actually going to take a reshoot on this just to be sure, uh, so we can see what the bullet is actually doing when it goes through this target in the back. So we're going to go do that. All right, so I've taken one for the team, and now my rear is nice and cold and wet. So we're going to shoot one straight. I'm going to put it between those that group of three there. Ready? All right, let's go see what we got going on here. Oh yeah. So what we had going on before, it looks like this was the first round. This is the second round, much rounder. I wonder if this didn't hit the control bar on its way through, that shattered control bar from last time. Uh, let's go see what we're doing in the backside. Much, looks like a much rounder hole. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice round hole right here. Much better than this one down here, that's for sure. And then uh, it actually looks like we've got a slug. So this is probably the round and then a the, uh, the metal slug that came off the door there, probably hit right there. And then it sailed off through the woods. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and set up the shot through the firewall. And we'll see you guys here in a second. Remember, put your comments down below, is it gonna go through the firewall or not? Send it. Shot a little bit low, but that's okay. Doc, do the honors, good sir. We haven't heard from you in a while. Let's see what we got. We traveled clear through the firewall here. <laughs> yeah, no problem at all. Put a nice hole through the seat. Here, let's see what we um, got going on here. Oh yeah. Here's the target. Check that Pretty out. Pretty nice hole right here in the uh, glove compartment area. Yeah, that was uh, pretty much didn't have any trouble. What's yep. the seat look like? Does it have a hole in the seat? Oh yeah, we got a hole in the seat right yeah. there. Yep. Um, feeling for a slug there. Yeah, yeah, do you think it went through? I don't see it. Yeah, dude, I, I wish we could find that thing. I can have no idea what you know i mean it's one of those magic all right well we know it traveled through the firewall 
through the glove compartment area and lodged in the seat. We can't see um, an exit, so I'm assuming it's still in the seat. So do a little surgery here and That's a nice knife. Huh. So there you guys have it. 44 Magnum stops in the seat. So if 44 Magnum didn't make it through, then what's our next step? Well, I think we need to move up to 50 to see if we can punch through the seat. Well, I guess we're going to have to try out, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. Do we have a 50? I do believe that we do. I think we do. Maybe next time on How Powerful Is It, we will pull out the 50 Action Express.